For more MTG resources and articles, check out paperchampion.net. All right, so welcome to S&M, Standard and Modern, and uh, today we're going to be playing Poison Arrows again. This is only my second time ever playing this deck, so please be a little bit generous in the comments if I make mistakes. I don't think this is really keepable, it's just not fast enough, and I don't really have any of my big pieces here, so we're going to have to mulligan. Uh, ugh, this would be good if I just had a green. I think I have to mulligan again. Alright, well, I'll have to take this. It's, it doesn't really have much, but at least I have two lands, and I guess Narnam Cobra is better than nothing. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it on the bottom. It's still a little too slow for what I want right now. So I'm going to have to play Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay, so Werewolves, it's another fast aggro deck. Uh, that's going to be okay, I guess. Uh, well. Okay, so we'll play this and we'll just go to Scrap Heap Scrounger next turn. Okay, so transforms. Alright, into a 2 2. Alright, that's fine. So he's going to get in for 2. That really hurts. Okay, so let's see, opponent, Dustwatch Recruiter. Alright, so let's go to uh, Swamp, Tap tap or scrap heap scrounger. Alright. And go. Now, too bad he can't block. Okay, but I can technically use heroic intervention to uh, to kill one of his opponent, one of my opponents. Uh, still have to take four damage here. Alright didn't really get exactly what I wanted, but I think my opponent's going to out-aggro me here, because it's just going to come out too slow. Alright. Dunned Operative. Alright, well, Dunned Operative is actually okay. Um, let's go for... well, let's go do that, actually. So we'll go Evolving Wilds this turn. Tap and tap for Dunned Operative. Okay, and we'll swing. Might as well swing for three right now, since I can't block anyways. Alright, so is my opponent going to want to trade off one of his uh, creatures with my Dund Operative, Zadrahedron Grinder? Ugh. Yeah, that's harsh. Okay, so hopefully we can take out Zada Hedron Grinder very soon. Okay, is he gonna swing? Nope. Okay, so let's sack and go green, I guess. Go for forest. Okay. Gaunty! Alright, so Gaunti is the... Uh, oh yeah, so I can basically take one of my opponent's uh, cards with that. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's uh, try it out, I guess. Get another Death Toucher onto the battlefield. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Emerald Wolf is actually a really decent card. Um, okay, so what do we do with the ones I don't pick? And then put the rest on the bottom of that library. Okay. Forest, Mayor of Averbrook. Uh, no, I don't want that. Emerald Wolf. No. Uh, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, that tar target is only Zada Hedron Grinder. Copy that spell. That actually could be really good. So let's take Zada Hedron Grinder. Okay, so we'll just put that aside right now. Uh, I will swing with Scrap Heap Scrounger, trade off with something. Okay. Alright, so that's actually not bad, especially if I can do one of those spells that like basically ca causes me to do damage to my opponent. He's just waiting for something big here. Oh. Okay, so do I want to trade off with a Death Toucher here? 
Uh, yeah, I'll block. I'll block like that. I'll take the other damage here. Okay. Okay, he gets. It doesn't matter. He can have that. Oh, he gets plus two, plus two all around. All right, so he's gonna do a whole crap ton of damage with blossoming defense. All right. I st so I take nine damage, which is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, battle rate. All right, all right. Concede. All right, all double strikers. All right. So the good thing is that at least my opponent doesn't know I'm playing I'm playing poison arrows. He just knows I'm playing death touch creatures. Okay, 15 cards, 61 in my deck. Is that true? Did I take I accidentally put 61 in my deck here? 23, 18, 31, 41. This is 46, 56. Oh, I guess I do. All right. Well, that's that's fine, I suppose. Okay. So again, what I want is ways I can just actually do damage to my opponent. Deal like nature's way is actually pretty good. Ruinous path, no. Murder, no. Um, dead weight. Dead weight is actually not bad. A little removal. Blossoming defense. Plus two, plus two. Heroic intervention, no. All right, I think I'm actually okay. Like that, so what to get rid of here? Uh, Scrap Heap Scrounger did not. Uh, Narnam Cobra is actually a little bit slow too. So let's get rid of Narnam Cobra. I think that's all I can do. So let's submit and go with that. Okay, submit. Give my opponent GG for the first game. All right, so yes, I do want to play first. Man, I hope I, I really hope I can pull this off at some point here. Fatal push, Narna, Narwood would dry it. All right, let's keep. I've got a ton of death touchers here. Basically, you can prevent my opponent from swinging in too quickly. Opponent's mulliganing to four. Oh, uh, oh, deciding he already went to five, so he kept five. Okay. That speaks. That's hopefully good for me. Okay, so Narwood Dryad. Go! And we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so... Tapped Mountain, alright. Uh, we'll go Swamp. Tap Narwood Dryad. Okay, and we'll just swing. Alright, so yay, only 19 more turns of this, or 10 more turns if I swing with both. Alright, so opponent has Mayor of Averbrook, okay, so I could Fatal Push this thing here. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Fatal Push, two mana costs or less, just get rid of that thing right away. All right. All right. So we are going to go to. Um, do I want to go Narnum Renegade right now? Yes, I think I do. Okay, so just all Death Touchers. Okay, so we're gonna swing in for two. And I have a uh, basically a Grass of Darkness for removal, which is you know pretty sweet next turn, so we can hopefully keep my opponent down until I f start my finding my pingers. Okay, so I find my path with arrows. Um, if he doesn't cast anything big, then I can go to Gifted Aetherborn, Dustwatch Recruiter, alright. Um, let's take it out right now. Okay, and get Rog Monster. Okay, that's not going to do me any good. But Gifted Aetherborn is going to be pretty nice. Okay, so swing for three. 
Alright, now we're on a decent clock at least. So we got basically swinging for five with death touch on everything next turn. Okay. Silver for partisan trample. Never a wolf who becomes target answer and create a two. Okay. Ah, that's gonna suck, but okay. Gifted Aetherborn. I think I just have to keep going with the aggro. So keep attacking with all creatures. All right. So is he gonna? Does he have anything? Okay. Sure. That's fine. So is he gonna block? Probably with a wolf. All right. That's fine. Okay, so I'm still good. I'm still doing okay, I think. All right, so that's actually pretty clever. Good value, especially for one mana. All right. Um, all right, so still doing pretty good. Is he gonna attack? I'll give up my gifted Aetherborn for it. Opponent only has one card in hand. There's not that much he could do, especially if he gets rid of his silver for partisan. If he attacks with just the wolf, then I can just block it with my gifted Aetherborn. So I think I'm looks okay right now. That's promising. Is he gonna swing? Nope. Dund operative. Alright, well, let's get Dund operative out. Alright, no death touch on him. But that's okay, we'll just swing with everything again. Okay, and so he's going to block a 1-1, one, one. that's fine, I get in for 5. Alright, so next turn I'm basically swinging for lethal, unless my opponent can get something really good out. Zadar Hedron Grinder, okay. Alright, does he have anything to... any spells? Is that last one card a spell? Alright, because then he can copy it. Alright, um... Can he do it? No? Okay. Forest, alright, I'll play the forest and we'll swing. Now my opponent's gonna have to pretty much swing for gonna have to go all in here. So he only has five, so I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's gotta block at least three of the damage. So we'll see what happens. He's gonna lose something here. Alright, so whatever he wants to keep can block here. He's going to lose his other creatures. He's either going to lose Zada or... Oh, alright. That's... Well, that's unexpected, but okay. So, he's going to lose Zada, Hedron, Grinder. Okay. Only two damage left. Alright, so... Mayor of Averbrook, alright. Okay, you can go ahead and swing. If he swings, he's just dead though, because I can just swing in. Because I can swing in and attack. No swing. Gnarlwood Dryad, okay. Alright. So let's go and swing and swing. We'll just trade off, I guess. So you have to block at least one of them. Okay, so blocks with Mirror of Averbrook. No combat tricks. Down to one. Alright, he's got to draw something good here, otherwise I'm going to swing in and win on next turn. Alright, am I going to do it? I'll, I'll be even glad if I win one, uh, one match at all with 
you know, with a standard deck. All right, so sweet. That's pretty good. All right, so I think Gonti is going to be too slow. Um, I think I need faster removal type stuff. So Blossoming Defense might be a good combat trick to have. Um, let's see, Heroic Intervention. Gain Hexproof and Indestructible. All right. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the right call there. Um, well, let's go... Hmm... Murder, I guess? And... Maybe two murders instead of Blossoming Defense. Just destroy a creature outright. Let's submit like that and see how we do. I think the, the, like, all the removal I had, plus my opponent Mulligan so far down, but all my removal that I had really helped out quite a bit. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we do on it. Right. I still haven't even used the pathway arrows yet to actually start pinging down my opponent. I haven't been able to either just I've like I've, I've only played two matches. This is my second match. But so far like you know, I haven't I've either just beaten the person down as I just did with the death touch creatures or just got my ass handed to me. Um so we'll see. Hopefully I can get a I can get the pathway arrows out and equip them and then start, you know, doing damage to my opponent every turn. All right? So man I actually might go and make a modern version of this deck because this looks actually a lot of fun to play. Um, okay, so I've got a Pathway Arrows, Swamp Forest, Evolving Wilds, Narwhal Dryad. Um, I'll keep. And even Nature's Way is actually pretty sweet. Um, gains Vigilance and Trample till end of turn. Alright. Um, so opponent's still playing out pretty slow. Let's go with Forest, tap one for a Narwa Dryad, go. Next turn I will play a Evolving Wilds, I guess, or maybe play, depending what my opponent plays here. Nothing. All right, so let's go with a... F uh, okay, I don't need Nature's Way just yet, so let's go Evolving Wilds and tap for Pathway Arrows. Okay. Alright, I'll swing for one. Might as well get the one damage in for now. Alright, so go. Okay, so next turn I could actually just use Nature's Way to just ping down my opponent. Okay, so let's go grab another swamp, I guess. Okay. Gifted Aetherborn, actually pretty nice. So, hmm. If I equip it now, anything he attacks me, I can just ping him with any, I can just ping down anything he, he puts down. So let's go Evolving Wilds. We will tap and equip. All right. So anytime he plays a creature now, I can just ping it down after this turn. Is he going to destroy it? Bolt? Alright, okay, that's fine. Alright, that's okay. Next turn I can put down Gifted Aetherborn and use Nature's Way to do the same thing. Alright. So is he going to cast something out? <laughs> I don't know, is he? Uh, I think he is. All right, Zada Hedron Grinder. All right, uh, crack this. Okay, and get a forest. I actually swamp again. Okay, another pathway arrows. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's get double green out. Top two for gifted Aetherborn. Okay, and tap. Yeah, this is Nature's Way at sorcery speed, so okay, Nature's Way. Gain Vigilance and Trample. Okay, so we'll just kill Zada Hedron Grinder. Alright, and go.
All right, so I could use another death toucher here. Okay, so it says, exile another creature card from your graveyard, return graveyard to the battlefield. All right, so that's okay. I can put down Scrap Heap Scrounger next. Fill its messenger. Okay, so he's going to throw out a one... Oh, he won't... Really? Really? He's got uh, something up his sleeve there. Hmm, okay, I guess he does not have anything up his sleeve. Alright. So, oh, sweet. Okay, so let's go tap one and two, throw a path, attach pathway arrows. Okay, play this, tap two, tap, Narwood Dryad deals one damage to or not know a gifted Aetherborn. Uh two two and hexproof doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh I guess he does. Okay, well that's fine. I'll just throw it in Arwood Dryad. Alright. So we're getting pretty good here. So I've got some good defenses and I can start pinging. Next turn I can play Pathway Arrows and also attach it to Narwood Dryad. And then I can start pinging two every turn and I can still ping one guy. So I don't mind trading. Um, I'll take one damage. Alright. That's okay. So he's gonna transform into something. 2-2. Two, two. Alright. So let's go Oops. One for pathway arrows. Um, I will... Let's see if we can ping this guy down. Okay. And attach. Alright. And I'll just swing for one. Alright. Alright, so anytime you put something down now, I can just ping him, ping his creature down and kill it. Ah, dead weight's actually really nice too. Okay, so let's go uh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay, we will swing both of these guys in. Alright, opponent's down to 15. I'm up to 24. This is looking pretty good so far, but I don't want to underestimate uh, tribal werewolves. They can blow me out pretty fast. But if I come out with a win with a standard deck in modern, I'll be just pleased as hell. So, all right, I'll be I'll be glad for it. All right, so will I be able to do it? Okay, does my opponent have anything he can do? Blah. Okay. Well, might as well play the land and just go to attacks. We're going in for, what's this, 9 damage. Attack with all creatures. Alright. So, opponent's dead next turn if he doesn't do anything. But if he plays anything, it's going to have summoning sickness. And I can still uh, put a dead weight on it to kill it if I need to. So I just got a ton of creature removal on his creature deck. So does he have anything to do? Okay, is that a Hedron Grinder? Alright. Alright, so that's the end of turn. Alright, so we will pay to tap Narwood Dryad, deal one damage, kill Zada. Blossoming defense again. Alright. 2 2 with hexproof. Okay, uh, alright, well, that's fine. 5-5. Five, five. Okay, so with Hexproof, I'll just do it on his uh, upkeep, actually. So we'll put a stop on my opponent's upkeep. Okay, and we'll swing in. Actually, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I cannot target him. 
I can still swing for three, so that's okay. So we'll, he'll have to block one of these guys, but also get him for three damage. Then I can exile Narwhal Dryad. Okay, so tap and tap. Um, ch -ch -ch. Exile another creature card from your graveyard, Narwhal Dryad. Bring him back to the battlefield. Okay, and we'll stop on my opponent's upkeep when he no longer has hexproof. Okay, and activate this ability, targeting Zada Hedron Grinder. All right, so do you have any more creatures? Probably, and with four cards in hand. Man, this deck against creature decks is totally sweet. Um, well, slow creature decks. Yes! Victory! All right. Man, okay, so this is only the second time I've ever played this deck. It's super fun to play. Um, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching the first ever um, first ever series of SN SNM where I'm playing standard decks in modern. If you do like the concept, please remember to like the videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up or put a comment at the comment section. It really does help. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.